Autonomous helicopters geared for military use could be built in Victoria under a landmark manufacturing agreement. Sky News has exclusive details of the deal, along with other unmanned missile technology unveiled at the Land Forces Conference. This prototype unpiloted helicopter is on display at the Melbourne Convention Centre. But soon the AMSL Aero aircraft could be built just down the highway at Avalon near Geelong at the Hanwha Defence Australia facility, which is currently manufacturing armoured vehicles. We have an MOU that we've signed up to work with them on potentially manufacturing this aircraft in Australia at their plant near Geelong. The deal will see Victorians working for the South Korean defence giant build the chopper. It has no pilot seat, no controls. The prototype currently developed at Bankstown Airport has caught the eye of big guns overseas. Well, it's a land forces show, so that's why we're here in um, Army colours. And we really think that defence forces around the world can use this aircraft for casualty evacuation of the battlefield. We can send in an autonomous aircraft at very low operating costs and capital costs as opposed to a military helicopter. Sky News can also reveal details of another unmanned and uncrewed technology announced at Land Forces. Manufacturer Andrul unveiled its Barracuda M cruise missile. The technology means the warhead can be steered or even redirected mid-course. Its software is designed to allow loitering in the air for around two hours. Uh, that there is an ever increasing amount of low cost you know, weapons and missiles um, that are being uh, used to great effect. The missiles are said to complement the company's lightweight roadrunner surface to air system which can intercept threats launched into the sky. And those threats are from drones um, that are very, very low cost. At the moment, the Allies spend millions of dollars to shoot down something that costs $100,000. Roadrunner is a low-cost effector which can do the same thing. More announcements are expected at the final day of Land Forces. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.